you're watching this right now, there's a chance that you're heartbroken. This video is for anyone currently dealing with heartbreak, anyone who's had their heart broken in the past, and for you to share with someone you think might need it. So if you are in fact heartbroken, allow me, Matt Joseph Diaz, to welcome you to one of the most universal and shitty parts of the human experience. I gotta tell you, there's good news and bad news. The bad news is, this is one of the most painful things a human being can feel. It demands to be felt. You can't ignore it or push it away or reject it for a long time. And unfortunately, this feeling is something you're gonna have multiple times throughout your life. But as hard as dating and romance is, here's the good news. You only really have to nail it once. The truth is, all your relationships except your last one are going to end with breakups. And yeah, that sucks. But at the same time, it kind of makes you feel like less of a failure. Because honestly, it can be hard to tell ourselves that we're not failures after a relationship has gone bad. But it's not a failed relationship just because it ended. In reality, realizing it's not working and ending it is a pretty successful move to make in a relationship. So many of us dedicate so much time and energy to things that we know aren't working. We tell ourselves things are fine because we want them to be. But it takes a lot of strength and a lot of self-awareness to tell yourself this isn't working and one of us has to cut it now. And even if you're the person who got dumped and it seems like it came out of nowhere, picking up and moving forward is still something that takes a lot of strength to do. We have to stop telling ourselves that relationships are failures just because they're over. Because you can love somebody with all your heart, but in no way does that mean that you guys are good together or that you need to be with them. Some relationships aren't meant to last forever. Some relationships are a very small, defining point in your life where someone just kind of dropped into it at the right moment. They were the thing you needed at the time. That doesn't make a relationship bad. That doesn't make the end of it a bad thing. Sometimes that relationship needed to happen as briefly as it did so you could help each other grow. Heartbreak is a pain that demands to be felt. You can try pushing it away. You can try going out and partying or rebounding or sinking yourself into video games or movies, whatever it is you choose to do. But in your heart, in the back of your mind, you won't be able to push that feeling away because it hurts and it hurts because someone meant a lot to you. And you try and rationalize with yourself. You try and make yourself feel like it happened for a reason. At some point, you start telling yourself that you must have fucked something up. But sometimes people just do what people do. The heart wants what it wants and it doesn't when it doesn't. But if you've been let go or dumped or rejected by someone you really like, you have to understand that if you're not what someone wants, you're never going to be what that person wants. You can't force yourself to be something that you're not for someone else. It's okay to hurt. It's okay to be heartbroken. It's okay to feel like this is a pain so deep because in reality it is. But never fool yourself into thinking that you're worth anything less or that this is something you won't survive because I know you will. This is one of the most important things about relationships and dating, especially when it comes to the idea of self-worth. I don't know who the fuck put this idea out there, but you don't need someone to complete you. That's total bullshit. You're not 50% of something looking for your other half. You're a complete human being trying to find someone to partner and grow with. You can't approach love as something to complete you because the truth is is sometimes it doesn't happen for a really fucking long time and you can't spend all those years pining to be with somebody because that's just wasting your time and it's okay to be lonely it's okay to want to be with someone i get it human interaction intimacy is such an important part of who we are as human beings and not having it can feel like something's missing but never ever ever let anyone trick you into thinking that not having that makes you worth something less than you are if you really want a relationship that has value that is meaningful and carries a lot of weight then you have to understand something the time before you find this person is just as important important as the time after. You shouldn't spend this time waiting for someone to come and find you. You're not a fucking princess in a tower. You're a human being. This is the time where you craft the human being you're going to present to this person when they come into your life. These failed relationships, these things that aren't working out, they're still teaching you important things about intimacy, about love, and about yourself. Nothing is wasted time if you can learn something from it. Even in your worst relationships, you learn about yourself. You learn about resilience. You learn about the strength you have even when going through heartbreak. Carry that with you when you move forward. Because true love isn't a goal. It's another journey. You spend this time growing and cultivating your personality so when you find this person, you come to them and say, this is the way I can help you grow. Show me how you can help me grow. And that's the strength you get from all these failed relationships in this current time. You have all this experience about the pitfalls of human relationships, about lack of trust, about dishonesty, about lack of communication, and you use all these so that you can avoid them when you find this other person. You're gonna force this relationship based in sincerity and intimacy, compassion and trust all these beautiful and wonderful things. So here's my advice for anyone who's heartbroken right now. Understand that your feelings are totally valid. You're allowed to be in pain. What you're going through fucking sucks. And you know it's gonna be okay. I know you know it's gonna be okay. Me telling you that is just kind of fucking annoying. Because even though you know it's gonna be okay, that doesn't help it suck any less right now. But someone has to tell you because you deserve to hear it. Things are gonna work out fine. Do what you have to do to get by. You know your own self-care better than I do, but just make sure you don't push your feelings away. Because time won't heal this wound on its own. If you don't address these feelings, 
feelings, if you keep pushing them away, all that's really gonna happen is that you're gonna waste a bunch of time on Netflix and then still end up feeling like shit about it. You have to address what happened, why you're feeling what you're feeling, why you think things didn't work out. And then in time, look at those things and think, okay, moving forward, what can I do better? Even if it isn't your fault, even if homeboy over there totally fucked up and you did nothing wrong, you still have to think, what can I do better? Because no matter how attentive or how much communication you have, you're still only half of this relationship. And you don't get to decide what the other person feels or does. Be honest about what mistakes you've made because we lie to ourselves a lot. And it's okay to tell yourself you have value while still admitting that you have things you have to work on. We all have things we have to work on. The more you lie to yourself, the more you play yourself about why things went wrong, it's only gonna hurt you in the future. And just never stop telling yourself that no matter how many relationships don't work out, no matter how long you go without a partner, no matter what seems to go wrong in any kind of romantic interest you have, never stop telling yourself that you have value because you do. You are so worth loving. There is so much beauty and wonder inside of every one of us. Now I want you to take your time, be gentle and kind to yourself, but pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and get back out there. Because someone out there is living their life, minding their own business, they have no idea you're about to drop the fuck in and change things up forever. That was meant to be inspiring. Was that inspiring? Like, oh shit, you thought you were cool being single? Psych, motherfucker, here I come! Yeah, that's why I'm single. <laughs> but I promise you things are gonna be okay. You're never as alone as you think you are. Well, that's it for me. Uh, I hope that I managed to actually help somebody. I have a lot of bad experience with dating, so I feel like maybe this was kind of a message to myself as well. You can find me on ravishly.com. I write for them now. And uh, you can also find me on my website, madjosephdiaz.com. Check out at madjosephdiaz on Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere. Um, go to madjosephdiaz.com slash booking if you're interested in looking me up for a writing gig, a sponsorship thing, a public speaking, anything. Just go, go check all of it out. That's it for now, guys. Uh, I'll see you all next week. Now I'm gonna write you a love song Cause you